Alrighty, welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math man, Mr. Shank. Coming to you live from a Walker Grant Middle School. And it reads this. It says graph the equation, and then it says y equals 3 over 4 times x minus 1. So we want to be able to, uh, first off, identify... Uh, not only the slope, so we're going to say that this 3 fourths is going to be m, so m equals 3 over 4, and then we're also going to be able to say that our y-intercept is going to be that last term, so our b is going to be equal to negative 1. So always be able to identify each of those. So this is our slope in green. I apologize the bad handwriting since I'm using a mouse and not a pen or pencil, but you can still get the point. So we have y intercept. All right, so we're going to use these to be able to graph two points and then be able to plot the, la the rest. So let's try to do this. So what we want is, so we want, graph two points and so first we're going to plug in plug in x equals well let's say zero that's an easy point to do because what happens well this whole term this whole term goes away and so we're left with our y-intercept so we already have a point to plot so our first point is going to be zero negative one. So that point is going to be on there. All right, so let's plot that point first. Let's go, let's do orange. And let's go a little bit bigger. Uh, there we go. So we go only down one. All right, so plot this point on one. So now, what does this slope mean? So as always, we're going to have our uh, change so slope is going to be the change in x oh, excuse me let's say let's say this right it's our change in y a change in y over and then it's the change in x change in x so now it's saying that our change in y is going to be equal to, and it's going to be 3, so we're going to go 3 steps up, and we're going to go 4 steps to the right, so 4 steps right. And you're able to find any points now on that line. So again, you first plug in x equals 0 to get your y-intercept, and so that's an easy first point to start from and then you use the slope to find the next point so we're going to say um, so let's go our four to the right so we go one two three four so this is plus plus four to the right and then we go again now we're building that staircase so we're going to go three up one two and three so those plus three so now we have the ordered pair. Let's see, we go one, two, three, four. So our x value is going to be four, and our y value is two. And notice how I'm able to calculate that from this ordered pair. So I said zero plus four is four, and then negative one plus three is two. So I now have the this ordered pair, and you only need two points to draw a line. And so let's try to draw this line that passes through those two points. So let's go shapes, let's go a diagonal, and let's make it orange. And so I'm saying it has to pass through these two points. And again, you can extend it through uh, if you would like as well. So that way it goes through any of those points. And so if you want to 
have more order pairs, you certainly can. So again, if you wanted to find more points or if it asks you to maybe graph three points or two points or something like that, you can still use that same idea. So from that, that order pair that we had, again, you can use your slope, use your slope to be able to find it. So one, two, three, four to the right and then three up. And so notice how it falls directly on that line. Make sure you're seeing all of that. Make sure you're asking questions. And as always, please turn in your work and brush your teeth.